make a quick video today because I want to put some information out there. You know, as gun owners, I think a lot of times uh, we are held up as examples of gun ownership, uh, whether it be, you know, uh, different types of gun laws, whether it be buying guns, whether it be selling guns, whatever, whatever particular type of situation that somebody may look at us uh, and, and say, hey, there's an example of this. Uh, you know, we have to realize that uh, that eyes are upon us, and sometimes it comes from people who are anti-gun, sometimes it comes from people who are pro-gun, sometimes it comes from newer gun owners who are just looking up to us, people who've been gun owners for a long time, and maybe know a little bit more about firearms, uh, and they look at us as examples of a typical gun owner. And because of this, I think it's very important that when, as a gun owner, we make a mistake, that we come out and we admit we've made a mistake, and we do so in the most sincere way possible to, to make it known to everybody, not just, uh, you know, to try and placate the anti-gunners or uh, not just to, you know, just try and make ourselves look good, but to genuinely put it out there that we feel bad for what we've done and we should not be held up as the perfect example of a typical gun owner. And so that's why I want to make this video, because quite honestly, I made a mistake. Uh, and so I want to come out here and I want to admit it to you guys today that I did make a mistake uh, and, and put it out there that this is not a mistake that every gun owner should make. Uh, in fact, I recommend against it highly, okay? And you want to be very careful not to fall in the same trap I did so that you don't end up, you know, having to put yourself out there as a bad example of a gun owner. So basically what it boils down to, guys, is... I bought a kel -Tec. Okay, guys, now I, I have to explain here just a little bit, okay? I, I gotta put a little caveat on this, okay? Because I realize that this, this is a kel -Tec that I just spent money on, so I gotta throw it out there why I did it, okay? My wife was looking for a pocket pistol. She wants something uh, that she doesn't have to carry in her purse, and for you know those times when she can't put on a holster on her side, okay, that she can just slide into a pocket, and that's essentially what we're going for here. She doesn't want to carry in her purse in case something happens and somebody grabs her purse. She'll still have her gun, uh, and so that's what we're looking at. So we went to the gun shop. Uh, we looked at the Glock 42. We looked at the uh, Ruger LCP. We looked at uh, the Car, little Car 380, which was my personal favorite. We looked at the North American Arms, and then she got to this one. Okay, she picked it up. She goes, "Oh, what about this one? This one's nice. It's nice, small, and light." I said, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa. no, it's a kel -Tec. No, we, we don't want to get that one. She's like, why? And I said, well, because you remember that gun I had a while back? And I went into the story about how I had this, this uh, kel -Tec PF9. I said, remember it was a complete piece of crap? She's like, I vaguely, I don't know. And she's like, so they're just bad? I said, well, if you're going to buy one, these little uh, P32s, or maybe the P38 are probably the best ones to get because they're the oldest design. It's basically a design that's been around since the 80s. Um, so they've got kind of all the bugs and kinks worked out of them. I was like, but they're crap. I mean, they come from the factory with rust on them. You know, there's no fit and finish put into them. You know, and, and, and they're not cheap enough that I want to... I mean, for 50 bucks more, 75 bucks more, we can get the car or something like that. It's like, no, no, no. Let's, let's not even worry about it. She goes, so you don't like this gun? I said, no, I do not like this gun. She goes, good, then that's the one I want. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. wait a minute, what? And she's like, look. Every time we buy me a gun, you do nothing but rag me about how I take care of that gun. She goes, I want one that you don't like so much that you're not going to care what I do to it and if it gets rust on it or if I spill water on it. I just want to know it works. And I said, well, it works, I'm sure. And she goes, okay, that's the one we're going to get. So that's the one we got. And she's absolutely right. I don't care what she does to this gun. Um, I did take it home and clean it, and we shot it. And it did function flawlessly. We put about three mags through it, and it never missed a beat. Um, so she's got herself a new little pocket pistol and my reputation as a gun owner has just went down a little bit as my heart sinks. So please guys, do not make the same mistake I did. Don't buy a kel -Tec. But um, if you do, you gotta admit it. So that's it guys. I appreciate you watching. So we'll talk to you guys later.